We're starting our investigation in central London and are on our way to meet portrait painter Sir Thomas Lawrence. But they think that it's by someone called Mariah Cosway. So again, they're on one of your hunches then? Well, what's wrong with that? Mm. Now the Cecils are looking at their family portrait in a different light and have asked us to investigate. We're meeting Clem Cecil and her mother Mirabel. And I'm keen to see this puzzling picture for myself. Aha. Uh -huh. So here it is. So here he is, yes. Well, I can see why it caught your eye, Philip. It across a crowded room. Oh, it rather than me, because <laughs> I was standing there welcoming you. <laughs> and you said good evening and went oh, no, straight across the room in a straight line, like an arrow. <laughs> to, uh, welcome to, to, to my picture. world, Mir is by Causeway. What evidence? Have you got oh, to suggest it's well, by we've her? Well, we've got this um, inventory, which was taken at my parents in law's house, where it hung. Well, well, 1986. 1986. 1986. Yeah. I'd like to know either way, to be honest, because it's going to stay in the family, I sincerely hope. You, through his grandmother, Alice, Marchioness of Salisbury. Unfortunately, Hugh is very frail. He looks to me like a dandy of his day. Yes, I think he was. He was a wastrel, was he? Yes. What will you think of that? I'd wish it luck. No. <laughs> Attributed to her. Not at all. No. He, it hangs proudly in Chatsworth. Mirabelle is joining Fiona and me to take a look. George Yardinger. Wow. That's amazing. Mariah Cosway has to bend towards us. Yes. Well, well actually, which, is, which, which, to be fair, is what she's probably literally doing at variance to yours. I mean, look at the way that the drapery is done. Yes. It's a bit harsh. It's not that bad. I mean, it's just a sort of gone family. You should. Yeah. You've got to do yeah. a bit yeah. more work, yeah. Philip. I, I think that the lady's not paternal. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> not yet. Fiona. Unfortunately, not all of them helped my case. So now you've got your hands on it. I can see straight away there are some old-looking labels. Right, so this... Viscountess Jocelyn. Philip may not be deterred, but this... And I don't have far to go. Back in the 1780s, to meet historian Diane Boucher, whose rescue the portrait is in Lawrence's style. But all the paperwork shows it's been considered a causeway for a long time. I've been told the catalogue is here, and I'm keen to see if it will help us take the Causeway name back further still. I have a catalogue of miniatures, oil paintings, drawings and engravings by Richard Causeway. Of course, Richard Causeway was a renowned miniaturist at the time, and Mariah did some too. Spent much of his childhood here. Oh, this is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> So amidst all this splendour is where the man in your... This was just one of uh, their homes, actually, the family homes. They had several around the country. <laughs> Maybe we're doing him a massive disservice. <laughs> but certainly that was his reputation. Yeah. Now, Peniston was doted on by his father. And he was given £5,000 a year to live on, which in today's money is hard quite soon. I think you know that he died quite young. Yes. He died when he was 35. Of consumption. Of consumption. No. He didn't. He was too busy having... A big party, I think. <laughs> so the question is how, and I think I might be able to shed some light on that. Here we have your painting, Peniston. Yes. There he is with his fabulous hair. Yes. Lady Alice Cecil was born in 1867. Okay. Peniston Lamb died in 1805. Now, as you know, great houses and their art collections and all the contents usually pass down to the eldest son. They go down the male line. Yes. Now, Pernice and Lamb, but rather sadly, so did the sons died out, and none of them had any children who survived into adulthood. Right. Alice Cecil, and that is where it joins up. OK. I didn't know a huge amount of family history, but it's really invented as well. Paul Jackman, and so hard to find out, mm. because the, the names change. Yeah. And, of course, the collections get dispersed. Yeah. It's a pretty august family of yours, isn't it? Philip and I are heading out to compare notes. 
Although the odds seem to be stacking up against Cosway, not least. This is the tradesman's entrance, but this was where Thomas Lawrence had his studio. And the glamorous and the greater through these doors. Now, the question is, did Peniston Lamb? Okay. Lawrence's studio portraits. But Peniston Lamb couldn't have been amongst them if my latest find. Do you think you're being a bit quick? to dismiss Mariah Cosway. I mean, we think Boyle written in 1885 mm -hmm. called Portraits at oh. went round Fans Hanger, noting what was in it. And she refers to Penniston here, uh, and she says he expired. But this one is particularly special in our story. Clem and I have come to Melbourne Hall in Derbyshire. You can imagine them riding around here. Yeah, or the carriages. Yeah. The hall is no longer owned by the family but archives relating to the Melbournes are held at the estate office. Hello. Hi there. Nice to meet you. Hi, nice to see you. Go on, go on in. Thank you. Philip Heath is the archivist here. I've got a theory I want to test on Fiona. Hello. Hi there. The furthest we've... I've been looking at those paintings, all according to her, by different artists, and showing Peniston... ...or Cosway. What do you think, Hugh? Do you... <laughs> right. um. He's not... He is. Do you think he could Lawrence to him? Yes, I, I think so. What about you, Clem? Well, I think I do see the portrait a bit... Um, You've not warm to the hair? Well, like carpet fluff, I think. Carpet <laughs> fluff? Well, I... <laughs> and... Uh, remind us what's at stake here, Philip, mm. value-wise. I mean, Cosway... Auction records have been made. A paint canvas of exactly this size, made just under... Two. I'm gobsmacked. Peter, we're all waiting, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Um, Peter? And a very fine example of Lawrence's. Oh. I think it's about the same date as this, and it's. What do you think? Oh, amazing. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. I feel we've been doing mixed. And not just a Lawrence, but a dazzling Lawrence. What do you think? I you? know, I'm thrilled. I really am. I love him. You love it now yeah. as well. Yes, we will, we promise. Yeah, I mean, I think <laughs> we'll see it in a totally different process of finding out about the man in the picture. It's for sure. Well, so I should <laughs> not in the corner of the room. I would have thought more keep it in the family now. I think this is one of my absolute favourites. I've really fallen in love with it. And poor old Penn is your spot, your hunch that got us here. As we just have, from voices that one respects. Well, it's like being present at a baptism. And the name is 